All right. So welcome. Tonight we are, well, tonight, I, it's tonight for me, but it's afternoon for most of you guys, depending on where you are. We're going to be talking all about how to lose weight while breastfeeding. So I'm going to give you guys my best tips for losing weight safely and effectively while nursing your baby. This was the number one topic that I was asked to speak about um, when I asked all my groups of moms that I have. This is like by far the topic that everybody wanted to hear about. So I hope that you get a lot of value about this. Again, I am going to answer questions at the end. So um, pop them in the chat box if you need to. And then I'm also gonna give you some really great bonuses at the end as well. So make sure that you stay tuned until the very end. It'll be about 30 minutes. All right, so we'll go ahead and get, go ahead and get started. Um, just a disclaimer, um, if you're watching this, I am not a doctor. I don't know your personal health history. And so the information is in this webinar and in this program is only a suggestion. Please make sure to consult your physician and use your own judgment before trying anything that's recommended here or any exercise or diet program to begin with. So just um, to tell you guys what we're gonna talk about tonight, this is what we'll learn. So we're gonna talk about how many calories you should be eating while you're breastfeeding. We're also going to learn what you should be focusing on with nutrition and exercise to lose weight without sacrificing your milk supply. I'm gonna give you some basic nutrition how-tos to increase your supply and lose weight in a healthy way. I'm also going to tell you the three reasons why your milk supply might drop while you're breastfeeding. And I'm going to give you a sample of what you could eat in a day while you're breastfeeding as well. So let's go ahead and get started. For those of you that I don't know personally, I just want to introduce myself real quick before we get going. My name is Jackie Peterson. Excuse me. I am a mom of two. I am also a breastfeeding mom, just like you guys. And um, I have a an 11 month old who I'm currently breastfeeding. And I also have an almost four year old who I breastfed for over two years. So personal experience I had of a lot of, I'm also a health and wellness coach and I've helped hundreds of women lose weight successfully while breastfeeding. So it's really a passion of mine to um, just empower you to know that it is possible to lose weight while you're breastfeeding. Um, I know that it's, I feel like for me, I've had it easier one with one baby than I had with the other as far as losing weight goes. And so I know with every woman who drops the weight easily after breastfeed or while they're breastfeeding, there's also so many women who really, you know, just struggle. And I've been in both positions. So I totally get where you're coming from and that you're just wanting to learn more. So kudos to you for getting on this call and just taking that next step to learn more about what you can do to get healthy while you're breastfeeding your baby. So your biggest concern as a breastfeeding mom is that you're probably afraid to lose your milk supply if you try to lose weight while you're breastfeeding. I want you to type a one in the comments if that is something that you've been concerned about as a breastfeeding mom. You're afraid that that milk supply is going to drop if you try to lose weight. I think that's something that we've all heard, that we've all been told at one time or another that exercise and dieting can impact our, our ability to you know, provide nourishment for our babies. And that's scary. That's really scary. Um, and it's really important that we're doing this health and fitness thing in the right way while we're breastfeeding our babies. Um, but it's also important that we're doing it. So it actually is a myth that exercise exercising moderately, I should say, has any negative effect on your milk supply. So we're going to talk more about that and how you can do it in a really good way, a really healthy way for you and your baby. And um, just like you guys, I've had all those concerns myself. And I know that it's scary, but it is possible if you do it in the right way. So let's go ahead and talk about calories. So this is a huge thing that we need to know. So Breastfeeding burns about 200 to 500 calories per day. So um, your energy cost of lactation, if you're at five months postpartum, and this is just um, kind of an average, everybody's going to be a little bit different, you're burning typically around 454 calories per day. And that's just the energy burned by you producing milk for your baby. Now, if you're past five, six months postpartum, it's probably going to drop a little bit below that. Um, and it really just depends on the age of your baby, how often they're feeding. Um, there's lots of different factors that can go into that. But for gradual weight loss, 
500 calories a day or more needed to be need to be added into your diet. Now there's no one magic number of calories needed during breastfeeding. Everybody is different, like I said, um, but we can get you know an estimate of what we should be eating. So this is just an example below. Um, you can see here on the screen of um, how you can kind of figure out how many calories, about how many calories you should be eating a day. So I don't know why there's those lines on the screen. Anyways, sorry about that, you guys. All right, so 150 is the example of the person's weight. So this person weighs 150 pounds. You're going to multiply that by 10, which is the metabolic rate. Um, that gives you 1500 and that's basically 1500 calories is like what you need to survive Okay, so then you're going to multiply that by either 1.3 or 1.4 depending on you know, just how active you are and that's going to give you 1950 calories um, And that's basically the number that you need to maintain your weight. All right um, if you add 200 to 500 calories and then you also are exercising. So you're adding 200 to 500 calories to make up for the calories lost that you burn just while breastfeeding, okay? Um, and let me know if this gets a little bit confusing, but I think it's pretty straightforward. So if you do that and then you exercise three to five times per week, you're gonna have a calorie burn from your exercising. And exercising, is not going to impact your milk supply. Your nutrition is what's going to impact your milk supply negatively, not your exercise. So if you're getting that calorie burn three to five times per week, you will still be in a calorie deficit, which is going to make you lose weight safely and at a moderate rate that you need to. Um, and you'll also still be able to keep up your, your milk supply. It won't be affected at all. All right, so hopefully that was, that was fairly straightforward and you guys understand that. Um, if you don't, make sure to type in the comments and I will go through it again um, at the end. All right, so the next thing that I wanna talk about are just the do's and the don'ts of breastfeeding and weight loss. So the do's are focus, focusing less on calories and more on micro and macro nutrients. I'm gonna talk more about this and break this down a little bit for you guys in the next slide. You want to exercise more because it has no evidence to decrease your milk supply or have any negative effect on your milk supply, so exercising more is good. And overall, you're just focusing on increasing that output, so increasing the intensity, increasing the exercise, versus decreasing your calories and that input of nutrition. The don'ts of breastfeeding and weight loss. Do not calorie restrict. Do not crash diet. Um, guys, this is the absolute worst thing, and this is where people will tell you if you change your diet while you're breastfeeding, you're going to lose your milk supply. Yes, it's true. If you drop your calories, if you're restricting um, you know, food groups, if you're crash dieting, if you're dropping down to like 1,200 calories, your supply will most likely drop. Obviously, everybody's going to be different, but for most women that are breastfeeding, you're burning so many calories. If you're not eating enough, your supply is going to dwindle. The other thing you don't want to do is stress. Stress can definitely impact your milk supply. Um, and definitely don't stress about fitness and nutrition. Don't stress about how many calories you're eating every single day. Um, I'm going to talk more about what you really should focus on. But this is not an exact science. So definitely don't let any of this stuff stress you out. Focus on the small daily wins that you have each and every single day. And that consistency over time is what's going to get you to your ultimate weight loss goal. Okay, so let's talk macronutrients. So I mentioned that macronutrients are important and focusing on the macronutrients and the micronutrients versus, um, you know, lowering your calorie intake. So your macronutrients are what your food is made up of. So these are your carbs, your fats, and your proteins. So the recommended ratios for how you can break up your, your calories and your macronutrients are 50%, eating 50% of your diet carbs, and these are healthy carbs, 25% of your diet being healthy fats, and 25% of your diet being protein. So now this can definitely vary from person to person depending on your body. 
um, and how you know your body responds to things, right? Again, it's not an exact science, but this is just what's recommended for that macronutrient breakdown. And if you want to learn more about the net macronutrient breakdown, how to track that, um, you know, we do a lot more of that in my Body After Baby Boot Camp. So definitely stay tuned to the end so you can learn more. All right, Mac, uh, micronutrients is the next really important thing you need to know about when you're trying to lose weight while breastfeeding. So you need to be focusing on eating whole, calorie-dense, and nutrient-dense foods. All right, make sure you're eating lots of lean proteins, lots of fresh veggies and fruits, complex carbs, and healthy fats. That's what's going to get you to your goal. Focusing on taking in quality nutrients every single day. Um, you know. I'm going to, in the next slide, I'm going to go into all the foods that you should be eating. Um, so I'm not going to go there yet, but I just wanted to mention also, um, there was a clinical study and I have this in my notes here that the weight change within the first six months postpartum for a group of women that they did a clinical study on was greater in well-nourished women. And the average was about 1.76 pounds per month versus undernourished women who only lost 0.2 pounds per month. So it just proves like in a clinical study where they're doing research that if you're undernourished, if you're not taking in those quality nutrients for you and your baby, your, your body's actually going to hold on to weight. So you, so you need to focus on eating really, really quality um, nutrient dense foods. So what are some of those foods that you should be eating? Veggies, obviously. We all know this, but it's hard to do, right? All veggies are great. Um, obviously, some examples, spinach, kale, fennel, beets, garlic, carrots, asparagus, you guys can see there. Um, carbs. Uh, I'm a huge component of eating carbs, especially while you're breastfeeding. I don't think you should restrict yourself from eating carbs, but we need to focus on eating healthy, complex carbs. So oats are great. Sweet potatoes, brown rice, quinoa. Um, barley, chickpeas, all fruit is great. Specifically berries and papaya are really great for helping boost milk supply. Nuts and seeds are fantastic for you. Um, so there's a, a lot of different ones that are really, really calorie dense that are great. Um, healthy fats like avocado, coconut oil, extra virgin olive oil. Lean protein, including salmon, chicken, and grass-fed beef. Um, a few things that are known to boost milk supply, like brewer's yeast, fenugreek, and garlic. Um, you know, there's no studies that say, like, there's any one food that's going to make your, your milk supply shoot up. But there's, you know, a lot of women out there who have tested stuff, and these are three that have definitely helped impact, you know, a milk supply boost. Water. So let's talk water real quick. It's so important that you're drinking adequate amounts of water while you're breastfeeding. That can definitely impact your supply if you're dehydrated. So the best way to gauge if you're drinking enough water is actually through your urine. So I know it's kind of weird, but um, if your urine is like a dark yellow, you're definitely dehydrated. And so you need to make sure that you're drinking a lot more water. If your urine is clear or it's a really light yellow, then you're probably on the right track. So that's just a way to gauge it. I personally drink a minimum of like 100 to 120 ounces a day. And it sounds like a lot. Um, but when you're breastfeeding, you just you need to make sure that you're taking in more. Typically, they'll tell you um, divide your body weight in half. And that's how much you should be drinking. Um, plus, when you're breastfeeding, you really should be drinking more than that. All right, just a couple other tips as far as foods go. Um, a lot of women notice, uh, you know, a decrease in supply when they eat certain foods, or they might notice, um, and I'm sure you probably have noticed, maybe some differences in your baby and how they react to different foods. So gas generating foods probably stay away from, such as potato pulses, raw mango, dairy, and raw banana. Um, and then other foods such as thyme, parsley, peppermint, and cabbage are also said to aff affect your milk production. Um, I personally haven't had any issues with that. So again, everybody's going to be very different, but just something to be aware of. Okay, so let's talk about the three. Oh, there's those lines on the screen again. Sorry, you guys. Um, three reasons your milk supply could drop while you are breastfeeding. So the number one reason that your milk supply might drop 
is that you're not eating enough. You're simply not eating enough calories. You're under eating. So if your milk supply is low, it could mean that you're just simply not eating enough calories to support lactation. Um, when you're in a calorie deficit, your milk supply will drop and often your body will stall your weight loss just to preserve milk. So really focusing on eating enough food and a lot of women feel like, well, I don't want to overeat. You kind of just have to listen to your body's natural cues. Um, tracking for a little while is a good idea just so you can see about how much you're eating on average or how many calories you're eating on average every day. Um, but it's, it's really important that you're, you're adequately eating enough calories so that you can support lactation and lose weight in a healthy way. It sounds backwards that you need to eat more to lose weight, but it really does work. So eat more, listen to your body. You can graze on foods throughout the day. If you feel hungry, um, a lot of breastfeeding moms, including myself, like we just feel hungry all the time. Um, add in a serving of, you know, a healthy protein, add in an extra serving of greens or fruit and nuts throughout your day. Um, eat when you, when you feel hungry, but eat something that's actually going to give you nutrients and not just be devoid of nutrients. And we'll talk about that in a minute. Again, you shouldn't be stuffing yourself silly, right? Just in order to eat enough to make your milk supply higher. Listen to your body's, your body's natural cues. Um, and also, I, I recommend not eating under around 1,800 calories a day. That's what, well, I shouldn't say I recommend that. That's what's recommended by most lactation consultants and doctors. Um, 1,800 calories a day is kind of the minimum you should be eating while you're breastfeeding. Um, again, it can vary from person to person. So if you do that, a normal weight loss will occur at about half a pound to one and a half pounds per week. The second reason that your milk supply might drop is that you're not eating nutritionally dense foods. So you're eating empty calories. Maybe you're eating, you know, 100 calorie packs, crackers, goldfish, processed carbs, peanut butter and jelly, uh, box cookies, like maybe you're eating a bunch of calories, but they're really, really like devoid of any nutrition. So that's where you need to focus on adding in nutrients, adding in all those foods on the list from the previous slide that we talked about, the chia, the flaxseed, coconut oil, nuts, eggs, fresh produce, um, lean meats, adding all that stuff into your diet and cutting out that, um, the junk, basically. All right. Um, the other part of you know, the nutrition is just kind of making sure that you are eating a well-balanced diet. So that macronutrient ratio that we talked about of 50% carbs, 25% healthy fats, and 25% protein, that's a really well-balanced diet. So if you're eating a well-balanced diet, that's really going to help you improve your milk supply. You don't have to exclude carbs. A lot of people think, well, I have to drop all my carbs in order to lose weight. You don't. It's not true. Um, you definitely don't have to. Eating all three macronutrients is really essential for you to be able to produce energy and increase your, your milk supply, and eating them really in the right amount is what's vital. All right, and then the last reason that your milk supply could drop is that you're not nursing on demand or often enough. So it's really important that you're getting enough skin-to-skin -skin contact when your baby is hungry. This is the best way to boost your milk supply. Um, one issue I've seen in some women that I work with is that they're maybe pumping more often than they're breastfeeding. So if you are working full-time and you've noticed like a drop in your milk supply, it might not be that you started exercising. It might just be that you are, you're not getting enough skin-to-skin -skin contact with your baby. So kind of just be cognizant of that and um, get skin to skin with your baby as often as you possibly can um, when you are home. Or if you need to like, you know, contact a lactation consultant so that you can get support and make sure that you're doing everything you need to to keep that milk supply high. So it's really important to know that milk supply is a supply and demand process. So the more milk that's demanded from your breast through the baby or through a pump, obviously, from your baby is um, the best way, but it's really important that you know that. And the more that they demand from you, the more your body is going to produce. 
Um, things that could influence your supply and demand process are, you know, if you're supplementing with formula, if you're, you know, direct feeding versus pumping, which I talked about, the age of your baby could affect that if they're eating solids already. Um, or if you are feeding on a schedule versus feeding on demand, feeding on demand is definitely going to um, demand more milk production for your baby. So, and then I love this quote. It, this is from, um, this is from uh, Gina Carney, who is the head of lactation at St. Jude's. She said, the most important thing you can do to increase your supply is to press, breastfeed your baby frequently. Remember, successful breastfeeding is based on supply and demand. When the breast is emptied often, more milk will be produced. Um, and then you guys can go ahead and read the rest of that. I want to keep this short and sweet. But basically, make sure that you are bre uh, breastfeeding your baby often and frequently if you feel like your supply is dropping. Most of the time, when I speak with women who are worried that exercise or their nutrition is impacting their milk supply, most of the time it's not that. 99% of the time, it's because they're just um, they're doing one of these three things, or they're they're simply not nursing their baby as often as they as they were previously. All right, so um, these are a few more tips for keeping your milk supply high. Um, one of my, or I should say, my lactation consultant and my amazing friend Stephanie Valentine sent me over these tips. I've consulted with her for all of this information and making sure it is all up to date and adequate or up to date and the latest information for you guys. And she wanted to send over a few tips. She was trying to get on live, but she just had a baby. So um, she wasn't able to make it work, work with her schedule. But um, she just said, you know, make sure you're doing lots of nursing take a nursing vacation and stay in bed with your baby nurse as often as they're willing. Again, skin to skin contact is really great. Um, the second thing she said is pumping. So if you pump both sides at the same time, that's really the best. You may want to consider, consider running a hospital grade pump if you're doing a lot of pumping. Um, I'll let you guys go ahead and read through these tips, but they're really fantastic. Uh, she also said hands-on feeding and pumping is really, really great. So massage and apply warm compresses before you nurse and pump and use breast compressions to aid in milk expression. Uh, the last tip she gave is trying out different foods, herbs, and medications. So this is definitely something that if you're interested in trying different um, herbs and supplements, make sure you contact a lactation consultant. Um, at the bottom I have here that you can um, contact someone or you can go to the website for International Board of Lactation Consultants and get set up with a lactation consultant that is near you if you feel like you need that extra supplementation. All right, you guys, so this is a sample day of what maybe one of my clients might eat in a day, what I eat in a day um, while I'm breastfeeding. Um, so breakfast might be something like oatmeal with chia seeds. Um, you know, you can put a lot of different things in your oatmeal to help you kind of increase the calories and increase the nutrients. Um, and I actually have that recipe for you guys that I'm going to send to you right after this webinar. Um, a snack could be something like Greek yogurt and blueberries, maybe some granola, or if you're dairy free, which I know a lot of um, nursing moms prefer to go dairy free for their baby. Uh, you could have something like a, a vegan protein shake with spinach and flax seeds to add in those extra healthy fats and those extra nutrients. For lunch, maybe a chicken fajita salad and add some healthy carbs in there with quinoa or even black beans. Uh, for a snack, fresh veggies and hummus is always a great option that I like to go to. And for dinner, uh, turkey meatloaf, sweet potatoes, and Brussels sprouts. And if you guys just notice, it's a really, really balanced day. It's a really balanced diet. So you're eating those healthy carbs pretty much at every meal. You're eating veggies at every meal, and you're eating a lean protein. All right, guys. So... I hope that the information given to you here has been helpful, but I just want you to imagine what your life could look like if you really focus on implementing these tips and these strategies and how you could feel if you focus on yourself and your health for a little while and, you know, just finally having the energy to chase your kids around every single day, feeling confident to rock your pre-baby jeans. The picture in the middle is actually my 
transformation after having my second baby. Um, I lost over 20 pounds uh, from the time I gave birth until that was actually a nine month transformation. And just feeling strong, feeling lean, feeling toned again, losing, you know, the belly pooch that we pretty much all get after having babies, getting better sleep at night, and finally feeling balanced and in control of yourself Mm -hmm. and your health again, all right? Losing weight, inches, and fat, and doing it while protecting and preserving your priority, which is your baby, and that means keeping your milk supply high. So let me know in the comments if that is something that you know you need in your life. You want to have more energy, want to feel more confident and feel strong and lean again. You want to feel more balanced and you want to lose weight and do it in the right way. All right, guys, (laughs) honestly, it can be done. And that's why I want to tell you about my body after baby boot camp because I promise you it can be done. I wanna guide you to get there in, this, in my 12 week program and Body After Baby Bootcamp can get you there. So these tips are going to help you, but I wanna take you all the way through and create a transformation for you. So if you decide that you want to invest in your health and invest in your family and your future, I wanna teach you. In Body After Baby Bootcamp, you will learn about proper nutrition and a better way to exercise You'll feel more energized and ready to take on all the adventures and all the craziness and all the chaos that motherhood can throw at you and do it without sacrificing your priorities. And that's really my mission and why I created Body After Baby Boot Camp because I want to teach women and empower you that you can feel healthy and confident, lose weight. It's, so much, it's honestly so much more about losing weight and you can do it all without sacrificing your priorities. You can do it all while keeping that milk supply high and um, you know, your family is going to be so much better for it. So these are some of the ladies that have gone through my body after baby boot camp uh, with success while breastfeeding. And these are just three of the ladies. There are loads more who have had incredible success. I have not had a single client come out of body after baby boot camp without a transformation. So this is Katie. She's a mom of two. She just had her second little baby. She lost um, 13.4 pounds and five and a half inches in body after baby boot camp. She is incredible. She is also a physical therapist assistant working full time. This is Ashley who just had her first little baby boy. She lost nine pounds and 10 inches in body after baby boot camp. Also a full time working mama pumping and, and nursing her baby. And then Jenny on the left is a mom of four under three. Can y'all imagine if y'all have that many babies? Whew, man, like that's amazing to me. She's a mom of four under three. She just had her fourth and she lost 17 pounds and 11 inches in body after baby boot camp. Um, So I have a huge passion for working with women like this who who just want to feel healthier and get healthy for their family and for their babies. And so these are just three of the women who I hope inspire you to take action on your own goals. So what's included with, oops, hold on, I'm getting a pop up here. Okay. What's included with Body After Baby Boot Camp? You get 12 weeks of support in a private online community filled with tons of other other incredible women like the women you just saw in the last slide who are going on the same journey as you are and this is by far in my opinion the most valuable part of being part of this program is the support and encouragement that you get every single step of the way you'll also get five quick workouts per week and two active recovery days You'll get a comprehensive program guide with resources to help you, including sample meal plans and a program overview. You'll get constant nutrition guidance and accountability. You'll actually check in with me every single day in our private online community with your workouts, with your nutrition. We'll talk about really focusing on your daily wins and and you'll post those in there as well for accountability. You'll get a grocery list of approved foods. You'll get meal planning and prep tips. We also have modifications for women that have um, diastasis recti or if you have any uh, ab separation after having your baby. And I also have a core restore workout for you. 
You'll get sample meal plans to get you started, healthy recipes and snacks that your whole family will enjoy. And you'll also get an additional prep week and info session with me where I'll walk you step-by-step -step through how to successfully reach your goals in this program. So guys, if you are on here, thank you for continuing to listen and learn. And if you want to lose the weight and the inches while keeping your supply high, if you want to get more tone, tone up your legs, those problem areas, your butt, that was my big problem area <laughs> after having my baby. Um, you want to feel balanced and in control. You want to have better, you want to get better sleep. Who doesn't, right? Um, when you have a little one. Increase energy and strength. Decrease your bloating. Improve your mood. Have friendship and support and camaraderie. And really just focus on creating a long-term lifestyle that you can maintain as a busy mom. This program is going to give you more confidence. It's going to make you feel ha happier and healthier and just get rid of that guilt. Get rid of the stress that you feel around um, taking you know, a few minutes a day for yourself. You are worth taking care of. And honestly, that confidence that you have is going to roll over into your family, into your kids, into your husband, and they're going to notice that and they're going to be happier and they're going to be better for it too. And that's honestly um, what the women in my programs experience because it's unlike anything else when you're able to just invest in you and invest in um, being the best version of yourself. This isn't <laughs> your doggy. <laughs> All right, you guys. So Body After Baby Bootcamp isn't like other programs. It's designed with you as a new breastfeeding mom in mind. And it's specifically designed for moms who are ready to ditch the overwhelm and finally find a program that is sustainable for life. It's sustainable with the baby and gets you results long term. So it doesn't matter what kind of crazy lifestyle you have. I promise this program is going to help you get to your goals and I'm going to help you every step of the way. So how much is it? All right. That's the big question. So normally for this 12 week program, when women work with me for 12 weeks, they pay $360. Um, but you're on here. You're still listening. I'm not, you're not going to pay $360. I'm going to give you a special offer. So it will not be $360, but normally, so how I've bundled this package is that um, I've bundled it all into a 12-week program, whereas previously I've broken it up, but because I bundled it, I'm giving a discount of $297 or $110 over three months, but you're actually not going to pay that if you're watching this webinar right now. I'm going to give you a better discount than that. So if you are watching, you are going to get a discount um, from $297 to $247. And this is actually the price that my loyal clients pay, the women that have been with me from the very beginning. I, give, I feel very strongly about giving them a significant discount. And I'm giving that to you guys that are on this webinar. You can also get an extended payment plan of $75 um, over four months if you would like. Um, but definitely the best savings is the 247 price. So it's you're getting a savings of over $113 when you sign up for Body After Baby Boot Camp today. I'm also going to throw in a few bonuses. So you'll get over $100 in discounts. Like I just mentioned, I'm going to give you a free cookbook filled with incredible recipes for your whole family. And I'm going to give you a copy of this amazing book. This is one of my favorite books now. It's called Unperfect, A Busy Mom's Guide to Seeking Purpose Over Perfection. And this aligns perfectly with what I teach you guys in baby after boot camp, which is why I want to give it to you as a special gift. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask now. And I just want to let you know if you enroll in the next 20 minutes, you will receive all of these bonuses and discounts. Just visit tinyurl.com slash webinar discounts and you can enroll for body after baby boot camp at the um, over $100 discounted price. So I'm going to see if we've got any questions. And um, we'll go from there. You're welcome, Laura. I'm glad that that was helpful. I'm glad the info was helpful for you guys. We've got about four minutes left. If anybody has any questions, I'll stay on for a few more minutes.
What type of workouts are included? Are they pre-recorded or to do on our own time? Yeah, so you'll get um, five workouts per week. You'll have three strength training workouts and two um, high intensity interval training workouts, so HIIT workouts. Um, and they are, you'll get basically a list of all the exercises and there'll be a video attached to it where you can, you can do them on your own time, on your own schedule. It's really convenient for, for really busy moms because you can just what, like look at all the exercises, see the tutorial on how to do it, and it's super simple. The length of the workouts, they're about 30 minutes long. Yeah, depending on um, how much time you take in between your, your reps and things like that, it could be well, maybe 30 to 35 minutes, but yeah, approximately 30 minutes long. Any more questions, you guys? Thank you guys so much for being here. Like, I am just so thrilled that all of you guys hopped on here and just are ready and willing to learn. That's okay. That's okay that you're late. No problem. I'm going to send you guys a recording um, of this. After, like, hopefully within the next hour, I can get it up, out to you guys um, so you can watch uh, the rest. Can we do one month program? Um, no, I'm not offering it as one month. It is a 12 week program because I really feel strongly about um, the fact that I want to take you guys through an entire transformation and I really feel like it takes 12 weeks to get there. Do you know if you burn, I would imagine you do burn more calories with twins, but I, I would consult the lactation consultant to find out because I'm not real familiar. All right, you guys, thank you so much for hopping on. I will let you all get back to your family. If you do have any additional questions, please send me an email. I respond to all my emails personally, and I would love to work with you and see you in Body After Baby Boot Camp here coming up on, um, it will start on April 2nd. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. I love you all. Bye.